Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Today on Customer States, well, we have a 2014 Q5 that uh, the vehicle was towed into the shop. Customer stated uh, that an outside shop looked at the vehicle first. There was a rodent's nest on top of the engine. So when we got the vehicle, everything was cleaned. And as you can see, we have the whole engine harness out here and uh, I'm knee deep, or I would say elbow deep into this harness. So we had multiple, multiple, multiple DTCs, and uh, it was for the fuel rail, fuel rail pressure sensor, engine cooling temp, intake manifold runner position, turbo boost sensor, low pressure fuel sensor. We had a full Christmas tree in the cluster, and the vehicle would not run under its own power. When we did get it to run, it was popping, it was locking, nothing, we had to push the car pretty much. So, scanned the vehicle, we had all those codes throughout the car. We found the harness damaged here, we found it damaged somewhere else. So these codes kept on setting, but then they kept clearing and going passive. So every time we would grab the harness, so usually mounted up here, it would set the codes. And then the more we fiddled around with the harness, the codes would go away. So, we knew that there was an issue with this harness. So we get into the harness, we unravel it, and we found a plethora of things wrong with it. We found one, two, three, four splices, pretty much freaking tapped into in all the dots. So we had to redo those splices and use marine grade heat shrink to seal them up so they're waterproof. What else did we find? Well guys, been chasing these faults for about a week or a little over a week. We found multiple pins within this engine ECU connector spread out. What do I mean? Well, let's go to the bench and check the pins out. All right, so now that we're over at the bench, we're going to look at these pins here. So now, meow, these are three of the pins that we did remove and replace. There were about, I think, I believe six of them. So here's a known good male pin, and here's one of the females that we removed. Now look at this. Get it in there. There's no drag. This one, all loosey goosey. Here's another one, all loosey goosey. Now, here's a good one. Look at that. I'm giving it a tug. It's not good. We got a we have a positive drag test, a pin drag test here. So these, along with six others. We're freaking Gugats. So, what did we have to do? Well, started thinking, freaking, if we were going to replace the pins, the pins are at least two, three days out. So, we went into our magical bag of tricks, and we just so happened to have the exact same connector that they were dealing with, but we cut them all out. So, what did we do? We removed some of, of the good pins, and that we physically knew had a positive drag test, and let's go to the ECU. And let's go to the harness. We spliced them in. We depinned the ECU. One, I mean, excuse me. We depinned this connector one pin at a time. I cannot stress that enough, everybody. Listen to this. Tips and tricks. If you ever have to repin a connector, do one pin at a time. So we did one pin at a time. We spliced them in. We used crimps. We used the marine heat shrink. We temporarily installed the harness, and the vehicle freaking started. It started. There was no extended crank. There was no check engine light. We hook up the scan tool. We did a full GFF scan of the vehicle. All the codes went sporadic. I was able to clear all the codes. So now, all we're doing now is we're just putting the harness back to, or at least kind of back to how we found it. We have to unravel this back up. We have to tape it up. We have a grommet we have to repair. We have another grommet for, that goes right here that we have to repair. Oh, fits perfect. This one goes into the engine box right there, the engine ECU box. So let's wrap this ECU up nice and neat, or ECU. Let's wrap up this harness. Freaking multiple Goomba moves in this video, guys. And then we're gonna make it look good. We're gonna reinstall it and hopefully everything still works. Well, all right now, guys, we have the harness, or at least most of it, back together. We taped this guy up. We actually removed some more tape from here and taped that. 
we fixed down here, right here. We still have to install this ring into this grommet here and figure out exactly where it goes. I'm thinking it's going to go like right about here because I can see a little bit of a zip tie resemblance or a witness mark. So I believe that's right where it goes because there's a zip tie that holds it there. So we're getting there, guys. We're getting there. This is very good. This uh, is one of the, the most difficult cars I've ever faced in my career so far. gonna slip in right here giggity that's gonna be in there also all right very good this side of the harness is complete I just got to install this right here and then we're gonna move on to everything that's in there well all right guys everything is back where it needs to be as you can see grommets in grommets in everything is taped up perfectly we're in the GFF scan right now. We don't have any codes, so theoretically this thing should start right off. So let's go ahead. Contact. That is such a beautiful sound, guys. If you don't know what to do yet, please like, subscribe, hit that bell notification for further content. All right, guys, here you go. We're all said and done. If you want to be good at what you do, make it look like you were never there.